Verlander and Blummer mentioned it wearing the Space City uniforms. Normally that is a uniform for a Monday, but today is NASA Day here at the ballpark as we celebrate the anniversary of Apollo 11 landing on the moon. Justin Verlander on the mound today for Houston. On the season, 16 starts, Cy Young type numbers with that 2-0 ERA and that sub one whip. Last time he was on the mound was about nine days ago against the Kansas City Royals. He went six innings, gave up one earned run and struck out eight. This one in play to second base where Ledmus Diaz is. Makes the play for out number one. Loriano in his career against Verlander, one for nine with five strikeouts. Add another strikeout to that total as Verlander makes quick work of the A's right fielder. Three pitch strikeout, JV's first strikeout of the game. Slowly hit toward Bregman, and Bregman had to pick that short hop, couldn't do it. And Murphy's going to be aboard. Foul tip caught by Maldonado. There it is. Maldi comes up with that one, and that'll be a strikeout for Verlander. Two strikeouts in the inning. As the A's fail in the top half of the first. And it is big left hander Jared Koenig on the bump for the Oakland A's. Kite making his fifth start. Big left hander had the unenviable task of squaring off against the same team in back to back outings. That would be the Kansas City Royals. Pitched well back in the middle of June. Five and two thirds innings, no runs. Was not able to get through five last time around. Well, that time he took it right down the middle. So Koenig strikes out Altuve. Koenig's going to get another strikeout. So he strikes out Altuve and Pena to open up the bottom of the first. Beautifully done. So with two away and the base is empty, here's Bregman who goes after the first pitch and pops it up. Garcia, the first baseman, is there and he grabs it. And Jared Koenig has a very nice three up, three down inning with a couple of strikeouts. Second inning coming up. Here is the 3-1 pitch on the way and that swung on line drive solid base hit to left center for Gurriel wide turn at first he's going to hold his ball plays it back. And the Astros have their first hit. So here's Myers the right hand a hitter bottom of the second no score. And Myers swings hits one of the alley and left it lands for a base hit cutting it off is Brown and the second base goes Yuli Gurriel. Gurriel at third Myers at second McCormick at first base no score Astros batting in the second the pitch. And Maldonado swings high, deep drive out to left center field, and this one is gone. A grand slam. Martin Maldonado with two outs in the second. He takes the tour, driving in four. And it's 4 nothing Astros. Maldi's third career grand slam. Hit one back in 2012. That was his second major league season with the Brewers, but his first really full season if you will and then 2021 he got another one for the Astros so now two in two years and he's going to have a base hit on 0 2 so Elvis Sanders gets the hit called third strike he dotted him up on the outside edge at 97 strikeout number seven for Verlander Verlander wears number 35, but he's now number 14 on the all-time strikeout list as he passes the great Bob Gibson. Wow. Passing Kurt Schilling and Bob Gibson here in the last couple of innings. Up the middle, played by Pena to his left, and that will do it for the A's in the fourth inning. One hit, one man left on base. Verlander rolling along with a 4-0 lead. That'll bring up Yuli Gurriel. He got things started with a base hit with two outs. There's a line drive. That one will flip the bat away. That's a base hit. First and second, nobody out. Uli two for two. Well, set it up for Chaz McCormick. McCormick has been really good this year against left-hand pitching. Now he bats in an RBI opportunity. First and third, one out. There's a line drive, base hit. Chaz McCormick drives in run number five. RBI single, scores a lead miss Diaz. Astros in front, five nothing. Good job by Chaz and Fizz taking that curveball into left field. This one coming right back to him. Able to go out there and extend those arms. Get that RBI knock. Justin Verlander and the Astros lead at 5 0. The A's will send up Dermis Garcia to start the fifth. Line drive and Bregman knocks it down, picks it up, and he'll hold on to it. And Garcia's going to have a hit. Bregman got quite a bit of leather on that ball. It just would not stay in his glove. Yeah, that was a bolt. This one is lined to right center, and that's a hit. 
Garcia is going to stop at second so a couple of base hits for the A's and then it has to feel good for Nick Allen who's been struggling you get a line drive single off Verlander. Well these have to take advantage of any opportunity right now to try to claw their way back. Here's the 0 1 swing a bounding ball up the middle Pena steps on second throws to first a double play as Garcia goes to third base. That ball punched towards short Jeremy Pena will put it away for the final out of the inning. Double play helps Justin Verlander get through the fifth after a couple of leadoff hits. We're halfway home. It's Houston five Oakland nothing. Sean Murphy opens up the athletic sixth inning facing Justin Verlander Verlander at 89 pitches. Swing and a miss strikeout number eight for Verlander as he picks up the first out of the sixth inning. Swing and a miss Justin Verlander now up to nine strikeouts back to back strikeouts here are the three and four hitters getting Seth Brown for the second out. Dusty Baker would like to see Verlander finish him off on this pitch. Andrews a 297 hitter against Verlander. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Andrews strikes out. Verlander six shutout innings today. Striking out 10. Second time this year he's reached double figures in strikeouts. Struck out the side, getting that last one on the changeup, pulling the string and frustrating another Oakland A's hitter. Hey, Jared Koenig back out there for the bottom of the seventh. Oakland trailing 5 2 nothing. Jose pops this one high in the air on the infield. Koenig gives a look. It'll be Dermis Garcia and Nick Allen, and nobody catches it. That ball was up in the air a long time and nobody went after it. And now Tuve is going to end up on first base with yet another hit against an AL West team. Pitch number 86 for the lefty. And it's hit towards short. Easy chance for Elvis. Underhand toss to Nick Allen and this inning is over. No runs to hit and a man left. And on to the top of the eighth inning and it's 5 0 Houston. All right, here we go. Top of the ninth inning. And Brian Abreu on to close it out for the Astros. Abreu at the belt to the plate and Murphy it's a line drive base hits a right solid single by Murphy and that's his second hit today. Swing and a miss got him. Chasing that slider second strikeout for Abreu. No nope, it's going to say a foul tip. Foul at the plate and Andrews thinks he's still alive although. Let's take another look Plummer. there's a discussion at the plate. I don't think he ever touched that baseball. Yeah, I don't think he did either. Andrews is trying to claim that he got a bat on the ball and should be a foul ball off the dirt. Vic Carapazza is going to get a, together with the rest of his umpire crew to see if anybody has that as a foul ball. That's Ow. going to be a strikeout. So it's 5 0, two on, two out. Kemp checks in. And Abreu from the stretch throws. He got him. Call third strike to end the game. Abreu strikes out Tony Kemp. And the Astros pick up their 10th shutout of the year. It's a four pitcher combined shutout a five nothing win. Nice little bounce back win Blummer to even up this series.